Hey guys, Jbo785 here. Finally finished up playing King's Game, game 2. And as you can see, I actually got the Lord of the Realm achievement, which means I got all the freaking crowns. Now guys, let me tell you this. If you like tough puzzle games, oh my god, there were some I spent a freaking hour on. That's one of those ones, you know what you need to do. It's just getting it down and getting lucky, too, which can be frustrating at times. And then there's some, I'm like, shit, how the hell do I do this? And it was just process of elimination until eventually I found an order that worked out. Happened to be the last one I tried, actually, was probably the last one I would expect that it needed to be done. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just show you a couple things before we end up. As you can see, I got quite a few achievements. You shoot a lot of damn birds by accident, so you don't even need to try to do that. And really about the last one I want to show you, which, by the way, you're going to kill the princess a lot. And I know I think on the second or third video, I purposely bombed her, which was fun. You're going to do that a lot by accident, so you don't need to take your spare time to do it. So, my challenge to you is this. If you play this game, get the demigod. Collect 49 achievements, and as you can see, that gives you 1 million uh, gold. Which basically means you can buy as much as you want. Now, a lot of these games, it seems as you get towards the end, uh, you you have more gold than you'd ever need. At the very beginning, you could never get your hands on enough of it. At the very end, you're like, yeah, this guy's a million gold. Oh, well, I'll buy 12. And uh, that's not the case in this game. This game is one of those things where you eventually, at about wave 45... You have to have all the crowns to unlock. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what this thing is. It looks like... Oh, wait. We got a FMV at the very end. Let's watch this. Is he just going to wink at me? Is that it? Oh. Best king ever! Don't let the Burger King find out. He'll come after you while you sleep. Yay! Alright, play, statistics, this one right here. Now, pretty much what I would equivalent that one to would be like the blue turtle shell in Mario Kart. It's a bitch. Normally when you hit those walls, whatever you have either blows up the wall, sometimes might go through one wall. This one goes through them all, and then when you click on it, it explodes. So it's kind of like a bunker buster of sorts. Uh, this one is a scatter bomb, so like a cluster bomb. Um, what else haven't I reviewed? Uh, this one, the acid bomb. So basically, it kind of goes up, and as it rolls, it makes a uh, size a little bit bigger than itself, and you can kill it that way. There was actually a cart level where it had a, kind of a hill, a cart, and then it rolled down with a block. And you actually had to time it perfectly to kill all the enemies in their little bunkers. So, that was fun, but uh, as you can see, at the very end, I had like 400 gold left. And this one alone costs well over that. So I was only able to buy one of these and try to beat the game with it. Um, total levels, which I think there are 50, only about 3 or 4 I got stuck on. But those 3 or 4 took me probably a good 30 minutes plus a piece. So, you know, it's fun. I definitely am looking forward to the next one, if they come out with the next one. I hope they come out with more weapons, more bosses, and everything else like that. But, I don't know when I started this game, probably about 11 or 12 o'clock, and it's 6.30 right now. So, it's a time killer, and honestly, time went by pretty fast, and I procrastinated on a lot of work I should have gotten done. So guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed my review. Um, I hope you have fun. I hope you try it out. You know, if you have any suggestions of games that I should try next, please post their name and their platform. Um, some of you have been posting games, and you're like, try this game, try this game, try this game. I don't know what to look for them on. I mean, I could probably Google it, but honestly, if it's for a game system that I don't have, if it's exclusive to the Xbox or something like that, or even the Wii U now, um, I, I can't play it because I can't afford that system. But anyways, guys, I hope you had fun. I hope that it made you laugh. I hope that it piqued your interest. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please post that in the comment section below. And if you're a new player to Rage of Bahamut, please use my referral code RUM26800. That gets you a free rare card and some rubies and does the same for me. Thanks a lot, guys. This is Jason Jabo 
785, wishing you a good day.